trial of Emmett Till began September 19, 1955. But we're here about Fred, a visionary. All of us could have been like him, but he saw the evils of racism. He saw things we didn't see. And I still see things that still us to march with Dr. King. He said, you can't fight back. He said, they spit on you, you can't retaliate. He said, what did you say, Simi? I said, no, no. Not me. I said, they slap me, I'm slapping you back. So they disqualified me, Bob, Lonnie, and we couldn't go. Because we was the militant type. Slap me, I'm slapping you down. Fred gave his life, but the fight is not over. As the representative was saying, our young people need to be here. 
I was at another uh, event today. I said, how is it that our young people see someone walk over the cliff and they'll follow right behind him and step over the same cliff? We gotta go home and teach our young kids. We gotta get an education. You gotta love one another. You gotta fight for one another. Last in Argo there, when I was a kid, we had a store. It was ran by a black man in that time. And we shopped in that store. Remember Mr. Haynes' store? You know about it? Now, you remember that? We would go there every day. Now, if I put a store across the street in it, black people would think I'm coming in. How to begin? You gotta begin to open up the door and shop in. If you don't have an economic base, your voice means nothing. The man knows. Let's be mistaken. Let's strive to work with one another. You open up a store, let's shop. And if you happen to be a store owner, don't double the price on me. <laughs> <laughs> if you stay there long enough, you're gonna make some money. <laughs> Y'all know I got out of the country. After Emmett was killed, my dad went to the trial. He put his life on the line. They were begging him, he said, Moses, if you testified against this man, they're gonna kill you. Finally, my daddy said, he was a little short man, about five, seven. My daddy said this, he said, I know one thing. I know I'm a testify. Whether I live, I don't know. They testified against those snakes and they got away anyway. After the verdict came in, daddy came home, he said, boys, we can't live here anymore. Someone said, where was your mother?